everybody, it's Chugga Con. Alright, welcome back to more Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy. In the last part, we got started on Honey Hive Galaxy. In this part, Rosalina is telling us that we have friends that have just arrived. Your name is Luigi? It has a nice yeah. ring. Well, as long as she thinks it has a nice ring. Alright, whatever. Uh, she's just telling us about the garage, which is over there, as you could probably tell by the text. The garage has no real purpose in the game. Well, it does. It's just not any sort of level. Uh, this right here is Mail Toad, which is kind of a function that is part of the garage for now, but isn't later. Anyway, though, um, I love this. The letter is addressed to Mario, and then Toad's like, huh? It's addressed to Mario? Don't be upset, Luigi. Hang in there. <laughs> okay, now, look at this. In Super Mario Galaxy, she gives you five one-ups. In Super Luigi Galaxy, she gives you 20 each time you check the letter. This right here is 100% proof that Peach is just letting herself get kidnapped by Bowser and staying there. Okay, think about it. The mail carrier is carrying 20 one-ups to you. Think about how big a one-up is, okay? Now, let's go ahead and say that she is giving you the one-ups in a 3x5 grid, I guess you could say. Or even a 2x5, 2x5, 2x5x2 grid. Excuse me. Let's go ahead and head to the Honeycomb Galaxy really quick, though. Just imagine that. There is no possible way the postman could not carry Peach in that envelope. I mean, I guess maybe you wait, though, but no. Girls wait and stay secret. Alright, so anyway. Trouble on the tower. After that long scientific explanation of Mario logic, we are getting into trouble on the tower. Oh, no. Okay, so this is it. I love saying that. Trouble on the tower. And I can't get those star bits on my way in. Lame. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cheap out and get another one up over here. Yay, secret time. Secret. Oh, whoa. I'm honestly surprised that I haven't slid off the edge yet at any level. Like, I mean, I know that we're only in the second level of the game, though, but I thought I'd be, like, a lot worse at this than I have. Uh, speak of the devil. Let's go there. And look at this. They have now constructed a giant hollow barrier in our way that prevents us from going over there, apparently. Over here and... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, that was not a very good idea. Let's... Let's not totally get lost and just actually freaking do this this time and get lots of star bits in the process, okay? Uh, I want to kill one of these piranha plants. I believe it's this one. I could be wrong. And I was wrong! Yay! I actually was wrong. I'm always right, guys! I swear! Apparently, everything I knew was wrong. Uh, what you're supposed to do instead is you want to go ahead... Okay. Down there, you want to backflip so you go back around and you want to wall jump up and do that. Okay. So, with that very poor explanation, there's something that you can do here. You can go ahead and roll into. Or get hit. You know, I never got it. Why is it like the lava portion of it that you're supposed to roll into? Seriously. Okay, screw that. This isn't what you're supposed to do, though, but it's what I was tr wanted to show. I just couldn't remember where it was. Go through here. And this should give us an invincibility star, which will make things a lot easier. Thank you. Die rocks. And you can get loads of star bits doing this. I just wanted to show this. It's kind of like a little bonus game. Now, back to the main mission at hand. Sorry for all the cuts, but blame my poor memory, despite the fact that I practiced this level just a couple hours ago. Okay, thank you. There we go. You're supposed to stomp that little rock right out here. Okay, that was what I was thinking of. For some reason, that was a piranha plant. When you're going through that, be careful not to spin after you let go of the vine, because if you do, there's a chance that you will miss the other vine altogether, and you just totally get screwed, and you die. That is something that I thought was really, really cheap, and there's another mission here much later in the game where you can get royally screwed by that after doing, like, ten minutes of work, if you're, like, not good at this game. So... Basically, yeah, and as you know, I'm not good at this game. Well, bluntly put, I'm not very good at games. Saying that right now, I'm not very good at games. I know a lot about them, but I'm not very good at actually playing them, okay? It's just what I'll admit any day of the week. I will never admit that I am, like, a master at playing any games. At all. I mean, I guess... Eh, no. I'm not going to try to make arguments for myself, because then I'll just sound stupid, and... Yeah. 
Then again, I always sound stupid, so I don't really know what I'm getting at. Okay, so, now that we are on this really phallic-looking thing, we're gonna jump. There. Okay. Going to jump, and then get onto another very phallic-looking thing. And, okay, ground pound on this, and it flips the enemies up upside down. Thank you. Let's get whatever this is. I think that gave us star bits, I really don't know. I hope that was what it is, because knowing me, I probably missed a power-up that was, like, really, really good. Okay, so... We... And, that's we? No, let's swing, and then we... Excuse me! Let's swing, swing, we! Okay, good. Here, kill the bug. I like they can be on those things' heads and they just look all nervous and they don't actually do anything. They're just like, Ugh, he's on my head. I wonder if he's going to kill me. <laughs> kind of a uh, makes you, well, not really feel sorry for them though, but it kind of, I don't know, just the look on their faces when you're just standing on them and not killing them. It's like, I know it's coming. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. Just put me out of my misery now. See, look, hang on. Let's see if I can get a little. See, look at that. Look at that. It is oh oh and they throw you off ah oh, they threw me off that's lame they're supposed to be nervous and helpless okay screw that we killed its baby it's okay you'll be joining your baby very soon or we'll be joining the baby very soon coin please thank you all right now die I said die and one hit go it takes it down despite the fact that it is a boss. One of the saddest bosses in the game, possibly as easy as Dino Piranha. Stop! Our final mission for this galaxy for the time being is Big Bad Bugaboo! Yeah, very nice alliteration. Okay. So, as you might have guessed. We fought regular enemies of those things, then we fought a bigger version of it, and now these enemies are all over the place, and we're going to be fighting a biggest version of it. So we're going to be doing some stuff in this level that we have not yet done. Well, going places we have not yet gone, even though we've already... Okay, well we didn't already hit our heads on that though, so I guess that kind of counts as going to a new place, doesn't it? And here we got the Queen Bee over here, and she'll actually talk to you. Neighbors are causing trouble again. Be careful for your assistance. And there we go. We... I spun twice and it didn't... Uh, okay, fine. Uh, something else that I should bring up that a lot of people are surprised I didn't mention. You can actually do your spin attack by shaking the nunchuck, but I have no idea why you'd want to, because that would screw up your grip on the control stick just so easily. But, yeah, you can do it if you want. If you really want to. You can do it. Okay, here we go. Might you be Big Bad Bugaboom? Why yes, I think he is indeed Big Bad Bugaboom. Well, we're here to kill Big Bad Bugaboom. So, Mr. Big Bad Bugaboom, you must die! Okay. Uh, that, 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 that's a good tongue twister, Big Bad Bugaboom. Big Bad Bugaboom. Big Bad Bugaboom. I can't even say it twice. I told him once. Okay, there we go. Scrum pound on his back three times, and that is it. First two hits are really easy. The second, the third hit's a bit tough though because he tends to fly to the side quite a bit. You can't ground pound him while he's on his side unless like you're really good at tricking out stuff and possibly even pushing it. Die! Wasn't that hard, and honestly, that boss usually takes me quite a while. I'm really surprised that I got it on three ground pounds. Usually, I miss it horribly. All right, we really have to go. And. Uh, get the stuff. Thank you. Okay. I thought for sure I was going to touch the water before I did the star. I actually didn't. Okay. Star. Okay. Time to explain something here. Uh, upon doing that, we not only discovered a new galaxy, but also a hungry Luma. Hungry Lumas are where you turn in your star bits that you've gained grand total throughout all the levels. They work similar to the ones that are in levels. But Hungry Lumas open up whole new levels. Uh, we're going to. Each dome has a Hungry Luma for it. 
um, as well as a few others. There's seven Hungry Lumas in total. What we'll do is we'll cover the Hungry Luma um, after the dome that the Hungry Luma is next to has been completed, all right? So anyway, uh, one last uh, mission here, I guess, will be loop de swoop Galaxy. All right, this is kind of a... Well, anyway, Serpent 101. Okay. Uh... What am I trying to say here? I uh, already love the level because the Mario Sunshine reference, but I do not love the level so much because without the Mario Sunshine reference, it is just a bunch of weird control. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip the tutorial here, though, because I'll just be explaining how to do it anyway. Uh, I just talked to this guy, and he's all like, Oh, hey, you're here. Are you a surfer, dude? No, why? I see. Well, if you change your mind, let me know. And he just warps you back. It doesn't kill you, but like it returns you to the start of a level. He's like, change your mind. It's like, what's the point of even having a choice? And he's teaching us ray fishing here, okay. Okay, so, we're going to be ray fishing here. What you do is you point the Wii mode at the screen, as if you're using the pointer, and you got to tilt the controller, right or left, tilting it, uh, to be able to move. Simple as that. And then you also hold the A button to go faster. That is about it. Now we have to clear this course. Go! All right, I'm going to try to complete this as fast as I can, and if you think you can beat my time, go ahead and post a video response. I'm sure that there's some really amazing, super special, sexy sequence breaks that you can make in this, though, but I'm personally not going to do sequence breaks. So, I guess if you can do them, that would be allowed, but just letting you know it won't be much of a contest if you can do sequence breaks, so... Yeah, I don't expect any sort of amazing five-star, excuse me, thumbs-up performance from me now. Ugh. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I, I need to slow down a bit here. Oh, no, no. Awesome. Uh, all right. After my awesome display of failure, let's go! Flipping the controller upward will cause you to get a little bit more distance off of your jumps, which is kind of nice, I guess. I don't really know why you'd use that, but okay. It's not really ever needed. You don't really need to, like, make any jumps. You just go off of them for no real apparent reason. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. I have actually died after crossing the finish line before where I fall off and it still counts as a death and you don't win anything. All right, so one, two, there, one minute, two seconds, 73. Okay. I don't know. Milliseconds, centiseconds. I think it's milliseconds. I don't know. Either way, we got the star. And with that, I say star. Okay, so, um, I think that's enough for this episode. We got three stars in this episode, and we 100%, well, not 100% of them. We completed two levels as complete as they can be right now, okay, though? So, next time on Super Luigi Galaxy, we're going to be taking on yet the next level of the game, all right? See you guys then. Three levels down, two more to go in this dome.